and just really enjoy this fire road climb in the sun. I was born on a gravel road though, Max. I love this. Anybody see my gravel bike? Don't tell Kaz. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Mike Levy and right over there is the Whistler Bike Park. But I woke up this morning and I said, you know what I want to do? Pedal up a gravel road a whole bunch of times while putting out way too many watts. And that's exactly what we're here to do. We're here for the efficiency test and this time around it's five brand new trail bikes. Now you know how we do this, we use a couple free lap cones, a free lap watch, a Garmin computer head and a set of Garmin Rally power meter pedals. Now that lets me hold the exact same wattage up this climb and then we can compare the bikes. The faster the bike, the more efficient it is. Now, of course, as with the majority of our field tests, all of these trail bikes are wearing the exact same control tires. In this case, it's a set of Maxxis Minion DHRs. Now, of course, all the bikes are set up correctly for my weight as well. The sag is correct. And while all of these bikes have lockouts, I ain't gonna use a single one of them. And that's because, like I said, we wanna know how efficient they are. Now this climb, it's gonna be about two minutes long, which is pretty short. But if you stretch that out over an entire day, two hours, three hours, six hours, even eight hours of riding, well, a few seconds here, that could add up to a really big gap over a huge day of riding. So let's get started and see what happens. All right, I know that this high tower looks a lot like the previous high tower, but Santa Cruz has made some subtle changes to this thing. And I mean, also look at this paint. The paint just looks good. It's gotta be a fast bike, right? Let's get up there and find out how the smallest tower performs. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, bang on average power, 330 watts our time, minute 56 for the old high tower. Felt really good. There's our first time. Let's see how it compares. All right, everybody, we've got Trex brand new Fuel EX. This is the biggest Fuel EX ever, 140 mils out back, 150 up front. I can tell you two things about this bike right now. Number one, this color is horrible. Number two, it is easily the most capable Fuel EX ever. And I think that also counts on the climbs, but let's find out now. Oh. Minute 53 for the trek. Bang on 330 watts again. It's funny, it feels like more. Feels really similar to the Santa Cruz. <laughs> Not surprising, to be honest. I'll be back with another bike. <laughs> Guys, what year are we in? Look at this thing. Does it even have a shock? This is the new Scott Genius ST. It's got 150 mils of travel. Everything is hidden inside the frame. It feels light and it feels efficient. We're not gonna lock it out. We're gonna leave it open and we're gonna go up this hill. Let's hit it. One fifty-eight for the Genius ST. It felt, if I wasn't looking at my clock after I crossed the line, it felt slower. Like, there's definitely, felt like there was some more movement. Now obviously this thing is meant to be used with twin lock and we've left it open. So, that's the answer. Tim Hortons now. Yeti has a brand new trail bike. It's called the SB140 and you may have guessed correctly, it has 10 millimeters less travel than the SB150. It's on 29 inch wheels, slightly revised suspension system. Let's see how it performs up this uh, real exciting fire road. Let's hit it. Oh, 
<sighs> Two minutes on the button. A couple seconds slower than the other bikes. She didn't feel slow. Can I take a break? Okay. Tim Hortons! All right. We've got this green Norco Fluid A1 here. Now this entire bike retails for four grand, which is I think less than some of the frames of those other bikes, but I've been riding the piss out of it and really enjoying it. And I don't think it's gonna be much slower or any slower up this hill, but let's find out now. Fifty-four. I told you, I told you it was good. All right, everybody, I am laying on the ground and that means that we are done the efficiency test. I think if we had another bike, I might've fallen over up there. I don't think I could have done six. Thank the Lord, there are only five of these things. We had quite a time spread considering that our course is only two minutes long, less than two minutes. The fastest bike, the winning bike, was that strange mustard colored Trek Color aside, a minute and 53 seconds. Slowest bike was that Yeti at two minutes. So that's seven seconds over just two minutes is a pretty big gap. And then obviously the standout for me was the bike that came up second fastest, the Norco Fluid AS1, just one second behind that Trek. Impressive stuff. As for me, I think I'm gonna get a recovery donut and maybe go ride some, ride some lifts, eh? I think I earned it. <laughs>